Welcome to This Week Health Daily, where we invest in your career. I, uh, I personally have struggled with work-life balance for, I don't know, 30 years since I've come into the workforce. And so I decided to ask someone who uh, seems to really have it all together, and that is Ed Marks, who, uh, if you don't know, climbs mountains with groups, uh, runs marathons, competes with Team USA, uh, has a um, uh, wonderful family, and uh, seems to have a great career in communicating in, in, in the public eye pretty often. So I decided to ask him, hey, what does it take? Have a listen to this clip, we'll come back in a minute. How do you do it? So your work-life balance, you're in shape, uh, you have a wonderful family life, you have a high profile career. Give us an idea of how, uh, how you make it all work and, and maybe I can apply some of it. Yeah, I, it's probably different for, for everyone. And I'll tell you what, my grounding is my faith. I won't get religious on you or anything, but my grounding is my faith. So my faith keeps me grounded. It keeps me humble. I know, you know why I'm created. I know why I'm here. So I have a sense of purpose. Um, so that's, that's one thing, but I, 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 I have given up sleep, so I will admit, <laughs> um, so I, I only sleep about five hours to try to five hours a night to fit it all in. I try for six. My goal is six. I know it's important for health to have good sleep and good rest for your mind and your body. Uh, so I always, my goal is six, but I was around five right now. I'm now at eight because I'm, I'm not, not allowed to work out as much as I used to, uh, for now. But, um, so I think getting good rest, but but you try to fit in, in when you can. So I'm an early bird. I get up early to work out so it doesn't impact my family time. Uh, and so when I come home, I'm home. Uh, so, that, so that's one way. And it's and it also learning to delegate and building a great team. So if you build a great team, you don't have to do it all. You, you should never be in a position where you're doing it all. So it's building a great team. And then, of course, you know, you're having an awesome family it helps as well. And I'm fortunate and blessed with that. I really appreciate Ed uh, sharing that. Uh, I'm not advocating for no sleep. Uh, in fact, I love sleep, so uh, and it's so important for health. Uh, but a, a couple of great things he shared there. Number one, uh, you have to have a great team. You have to have people that you trust. And part of that's intentional, part of that's in selection. Uh, in, intentionality is you have to be investing in them and you have to be trusting them and you have to be growing them uh, while you're there. Uh, plus, it, healthcare doesn't look to the CIO to do everything. Uh, there's a whole host of people that are there uh, to support, to help you. Uh, things should happen when you're not there. So you need a great team. Uh, but the second thing I want you to hear is, Ed really touched on a handful of these. And I worked at a Catholic health system and the sisters uh, probably said this a million times, which is mind, body, and spirit. We are a whole person. And uh, the fact that we are a whole person means we have to take care of the whole person. And, uh, you know, and, and Ed talked about his spiritual life and really have a, a, a meaning, a why uh, to coming into work and to working in healthcare, And that's very important. And a, a, a grounding uh, really helps us to handle the challenges that we face within healthcare. The, uh, the, the second thing is mind. Uh, you know, one of the things Ed didn't talk about is he does a lot of uh, outdoor things. He does uh, mountain climbing. He does um, he does uh, marathons. He does just a lot of things to get outdoors, uh, outdoor meetings with staff, walking meetings, those kinds of things. Uh, we've we've got to, uh, you know, our mind is so important to stay sharp and we have to uh, let it breathe from time to time. We can't just be in the grind every minute. We have to uh, allow it uh, some time to breathe, some time to uh, expand and just uh, relax. Um, and then body, we don't like to talk about this, but uh, diet and exercise are a thing. It's funny, every time you talk to a doctor, you want them to tell you some new thing on how you're going to stay physically fit and, uh, and lose weight. And they keep coming back to that same old mantra of uh, what you put into your body and, uh, and how you exercise your body. And those things are, uh, are critical. I have struggled with this for the 30 years I've been in, in my career. And, uh, and I think these are great words to live by. The so what is uh, take care of yourself. You only have one life, you only have one body. Uh, take care of yourself, rely on your team, and take care of the whole person.